Alright guys, uh, we're just going to go outside and test the Cometa now, um, Camel Power 4 one um, Also, while I'm here, I just got an LED bowl for my room And this colour is meant to be cool white, it says 4K on the box This box, let's see 4K This seems more like a 6K tint to me Because you can see it's pretty white, it is on the brightest and the 800 lumens uh, equivalent to 60 watts. Uh, anyway, enough of blabbering on this spot. Alright guys, uh, usual setup. Cometa is outside. Um, yeah, uh, basically I'm going to do it with the zoom. The adjustable lens fully extended outwards. So for more zoom, I'll do that first. And then I'm going to do uh, the lens fully extended back in. So that's for flood. And then I'm going to do uh, one halfway in between. Uh, on all modes, so stick tight, uh, and this is the lit towel cap. So I'll just put the lens out. Obviously, you know, lens out. You can't. I can see it on my fence. I don't know if you guys can. You should be able to see it on that chair, maybe. I've got my um, phone screen down low, so I can't see. Uh, this is number two. So number two, you can already see. It's already lighting up the fence. Uh, Fifteen. About 20 meters away, even to the furthest reach, you can see it's already lighting it up. Number three, uh, getting better. Square. Don't get square with me. Number four. Number five. Number six. And final turbo, number seven. So you can see uh, with it fully extended, the beam is pretty precise it doesn't light up anything else except for my um, fence lots of like a little bit of stuff you can see how bright it is if I shine it against these chairs here that are closer yeah, it reflects off like hardcore um, now I'll put the uh, beam back and we'll try it that style All right. so on the floor can you see that no you still can't really see that can you but it's on that's number one it's on you can see it's on Every the time and whatnot. Alright, number two. You still can't even see that because it's too wide. You should be able to see it on the shed. So, so. You probably can see it just. You can. Uh, number three. Yeah. You can start to see that. Number four. Yeah, you can see that. Number five. Well, very easily does a really good job. Number six. And final, number seven. So you just look at how wide the beam is. Now that's freaking wide as. Uh, my one is going to step down. I haven't fixed that yet. You can see it's stepping down. I haven't fixed the temperature uh, con control yet. I clicked it 16 times, but it didn't work. I'm just going to keep on clicking it un until it works. Um, yeah, so super wide, but still like super bright. Um, I'm going to put the beam like halfway in between now. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Basically, just an estimate that it's halfway. Um, you can see it on the floor. Yeah, I can make it out on the fence, not the best. Alright, two. You should be able to see that now on the chairs at least. Yeah, you can see the chairs. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so you can see. Good, good job. Um, it's very round. Um, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> it's still super bright. Like obviously, it's going to be the same brightness. Um, let's try it at a hundred meters, like like this. Yeah, actually, it lights up the whole tree. Not like super good, but pretty good. Um, I'm going to put the zoom the whole way in and show you it at a hundred meters now. That's not the whole way in, but it's getting there. Now that's the whole way in, and that's how well it lights up the tree at 100 meters. I can see everything perfectly, and that's with the light stepping down to, you can see the very top, that's over 100 meters there, that's about 110 at the very top. So too cruisy for it. Now back to my fence, super bright, do some bouncing off the uh, chair, and then we'll extend it out. So I can kind of see the appeal of these lights, of the adjustable focus lenses, because it means you don't need two lights on you. Um, I personally 
no matter what I do, I'm gonna when I go fishing or whatnot, I'm gonna take a headlamp and another torch anyway. Always, um, you could just wing it and take one of this, these because um, I can see the appeal that way. Uh, yeah. Um, also, I'm gonna do a full review on this soon, in a couple of days, guys. Um, but for now, I'll just stick with the BLF review. Uh, and I'll get out a video review when I get a bit of time. Eh, what else? That's about it. So yeah, so you can see, um, bright enough. Actually, I brought out my C8. Um, I'll compare it to that. I don't know how many of you actually read what I write on um, BLF, but if you do, you'll know I built a C8 with an XBL HI. Uh, this is it. But um, when I was at Fast Tech, or not when I was at, when I was shopping, I brought um, two different XPL HIs. This is a 3K tint. I bought it just for the sake to test it out. Uh, look at how yellow it is. It's crazy, eh? Makes me feel like country western stuff. Uh, anyway, this video isn't really about that light. I'll fully extend the, um, the um, commenter out. Way. What have I done? Uh, the um, C8 isn't running, uh, it's running direct drive, but I've got a different battery in there. Uh, it's not the LG cells, it's step down there. Alright, just to give you a so you can see um, how bright the commenter is, I focused uh, even against the C8. The C8 is only running at 2.4 amps, I think, with this battery, or 2.6, somewhere around there. Uh, you can see that the commenter is still brighter. Uh, Alright guys, I've been blabbering on. This is like already like a 5 minute video. Uh, thanks for watching.